Teenage girl now charged in the possible overdose deaths of two other girls in Fayette County, Tennessee. Fayette County District Attorney told ABC 24 the unidentified teen charged was the third girl who was hospitalized following the incident. Preliminary information indicates that fentanyl was found. It all happened just hours before Fayette wears high school graduation ceremony on Tuesday. The DA also told ABC 24 that social media and text messages helped with the investigation leading to the charges. She is due back in court for a status hearing June 7th. Now, one of the teens has been identified as 16-year-old Alyssa Thorne. The family set up a verified GoFundMe page asking for help with funeral costs. And as we're learning more about these tragic deaths in Fayette County, there's also increasing calls for wider distribution of Narcan, a treatment for opioid overdose. ABC 24's Jay Shakur joins us live from outside of Fayetteware High School, where a vigil is being held for the two teens who died. Jay. Pepper, as Fayette County residents and Fayetteware High School students, students and families gathered to remember 16 year old Alyssa Thorne and the other team that possibly overdosed right here in the high school parking lot. How to, how to prevent future situations like this from happening is top of mind for overdose prevention advocates. Why is Narcan so important right now? Because it's the only type of life-saving medication that we have to reverse opioid overdoses. Uh, Narcan is one of a couple of different brands of naloxone medications. It's a life-saving medication many are pushing to increase access to in schools and public places in the aftermath of three possible overdoses at Fayetteware High School in Somerville, Tennessee, which killed two teenagers Tuesday. A little more than a month ago, the Federal Drug Administration approved naloxone, or Narcan, for over-the-counter purchase. Advocates say the FDA move is a step in the right direction and likely will save countless lives. What happens when someone overdoses on opioids is they lose consciousness. They're not likely to regain that without medical intervention and eventually they will stop breathing. Experts say Narcan blocks the effects of opioids on the brain by preventing them from attaching to nerve receptors. More than 90% effective and restores breathing within minutes. We hold it between our fingers. We want to lift the head back and we insert this into the nostril and we hit the plunger, boom, and it squirts the medication up the nose. And after three minutes, if the person is not responding, you can administer another dose, applying chest compressions between each dose until help arrives. Fuller and other drug prevention workers believe Narcan should be included in everyday first aid kits and incorporated into standard crisis response training. Anything that we can do to put more of this life-saving medicine in the hands of more people, we need to do that. Uh, this crisis is only continuing to get worse. It's not getting better. Again, the vigil wrapped up about half an hour ago. In fact, we're standing just feet away from the parking spot where it's believed those teens possibly overdosed. Live in Fayette County, I'm Jay Shakur. All right, Jay, thank you. Well, if you or someone you know needs help, it's available 24 hours a day at the Tennessee Red Line. That number is on your screen right now.